Hi there, and welcome to Embolden Kids. On today's episode, Confidence in Christ. I don't know what it is lately. I just don't seem to have any confidence at school, on the playground, or even when I'm learning tennis. I mean, what's going on with me? Uh, don't forget to put your confidence in Christ. I remember this now. The pastor was explaining it. When you ask the Holy Spirit to come on the inside of you, you get Jesus' spirit. And that's the confidence we need, kids. But am I the only one around here that's afraid to make a ginormous mistake? On the other hand, Mom's always telling me that if I know what God wants me to do, and I do what he tells me to do, I have nothing to worry about. And you know what, kids? She's right. Let me type out a good verse for you. Go to Romans 8, verse 28. We know that God makes all things work together for the good of those who love him and are chosen to be part of his plan. So we don't need to worry about making a mistake at school and failing a test or getting a friend upset or angering a parent. We can make it right with them and with God through prayer and reading the Bible. But you know what? We have to also turn from those old ways. It's called repenting and listening to the Lord. And that means we truly love Jesus, kids. I'll prove it to you. Let me get out my computer and I'll type out another one for you. Go to John 14, verse 21. The person who has my commandments and keeps them is the one who really loves me. And whoever really loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him and reveal myself to him. I will make myself real to him. I don't know about you, but I feel that confidence increasing already. Who wants to dance with me? Uh, anyone but you, Dad, please. No, but seriously, kids, I'm starting to feel stronger already. Go to Proverbs 3, verse 26. For the Lord will be your confidence, firm and strong, and will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. I don't know about you, but I don't like being caught in a web of deceit, do you kids? On that note, let's go over what we learned today, kids. Number one, if we know what God is telling us to do and we try our best to do what he has asked, He will make sure we are going in the right direction. Number two, those that truly love God will actually do what he says to do. And number three, when the Lord is our confidence, it keeps us from being trapped by the wicked evil devices of Satan and his dark forces. Don't forget to thumbs up, kids, and subscribe. This is a great place to learn about God and the Bible.